Hi, my name is Derek and I'm part of the K-12 user education team here at Blackboard. Today we're going to take a closer look at topics. Topics help to significantly improve efficiency and collaboration between faculty members when shared and copied between different group types. This includes class sections, activities, community, advisory, and dorm groups. While bulletin boards are useful for teachers to post general class information, topics let you design blended learning units, organize professional development resources, share parent information, and much more. There are three types of topics you can create. The first is a unique copy of the topic only available to yourself. The second is a view-only shared version of the topic. And the third is a shared version of the topic where all collaborators have editing access. Share and copy settings are also available for new and existing topics. Let's go ahead and create a simple topic. First, add a title and description so your fellow faculty members can quickly and easily find your content. Next, select a cover photo and page layout you'd like to use. Determine whether or not you'd like to share this topic with others. Keep in mind this includes the option to allow others to make edits that would also affect your version of the topic. Finally, consider enabling the topic bank, which allows other staff members to make a copy of your version of the topic. Each topic can be shared or copied with other faculty members as well. This works whether a new topic is created or share copy access is added to existing topics. Once created, teachers can set a publish date, at which point it will become visible to others, including students. This gives teachers control over when they are ready for the class to see a shared topic. Any topics that have been added to the topic bank are available to use from the topic import. Here, filters let you find topics you can copy into your own sections. Due to content storage considerations, files on copied topics will not be editable. This includes downloads, photos, audio, and video. However, they can be removed and replaced by other content items that only appear on that version of the topic and won't impact the original. When another teacher imports a topic, it creates a copy of the original. This means I can edit the imported topic and know that the original is preserved. Any edits made to a topic can then be added to other sections through the Publish options. In addition to teacher class pages, topic sharing or copying functionality is also available with advisories, activities, community, and dorm groups. For more detailed information about on-campus topics, make sure to check out our Help Center documentation. As always, thanks for watching.